morning my darlings welcome to vlogmas day six today is the day after our fashion mumbler christmas team dinner and day um which you'll have seen if you watched yesterday's vlogmas so um woke up a little bit tired this morning a little bit bleary eyed and i think it's less from the um not champagne because it was night timber so not from the english sparkling wine but i think i think more from the fires actually we had um the drawing room fire lit and the entrance hall and it's just a lot of smoke and cat actually had a really interesting bit of information she said that sometimes when there's a little bit of mist and cold temperatures out of the house the smoke doesn't like break through the mist so it just comes back into the house <laughs> um so i feel a little bit like groggy because of that i think and maybe a little bit of alcohol as well but alas it's um it was due to be a blue sky day with perfect frost so that's fully what i was mentally excited for but as you might be able to see it's just gray <laughs> and then it's not frosty so the opposite of a magical day today but um anyway i'm sat in the waitrose car park i need to just go and get a couple of bits so i thought we could see if there's any nice festive things in there i love a waitrose christmas canopy i really do i could just snack on them all day <laughs> although i have to say my instagram explore page at the moment is giving me a lot of really nice canopy suggestions so i need to do some diying as well um anyway that's the plan for this morning and then tonight Again, as you might know, if you watched the advent calendar section yesterday, we are going for dinner at The Bull in Burford. Burford is such a magical um, place here in the Cotswolds and I've not seen their Christmas lights. I'm sure it'll be very tasteful. So of course, we're going to try to pop into the Burford Garden Company before. I'd like to get some more of the gold, um, the gold flowers, like gold alliums and gold teasels to put in the entrance hall tree because that is not looking <laughs> sparkly enough so that's the plan and i've got some nice deliveries christmas gifts from me to me um to open when we get home it's blooming freezing today so i've got on lots of layers topped off with my ancient barber so um <laughs> feeling snuggly i think it's still about minus three anyway let's go and shop is it just me or does anyone else get very excited about festive food? I love looking at all these hams and pâtés. <gasps> Yummy. Now, as much as I love a festive magazine, this is seven pounds. I have never known a magazine to be that expensive in my entire life. I'm sorry, country life, but that is just too much. This is what I get the most excited over. This is the Waitrose Canapé Selection. And I feel like you could just have these in the freezer and snack on them throughout December because they're so good. Little paneer fries. I bet they are delicious with some sweet chili. Oh my goodness me. Oh, truffle mac and cheese. I feel like I could probably make them. Oh yes. Oh, these are so good. But again, I might make them. I can just get some puff pastry. Ooh. Yeah, if I just get some puff pastry and pop some brie and cranberry sauce in the middle, and it could be a whole lot better for me. Hmm. Good for inspiration though. I've got my oat milk, I've got my chicken, and I've got some sausages wrapped in bacon. Ooh, okay, not the most exciting shop in the world, um, but I got the Waitrose Weekender. They always have, instead of my seven pounds country life, they always have just really yummy um, ideas in here. And look at this, this is hash browns wrapped in bacon to dip in your camembert. Oh, that sounds amazing. Um, I find going to the supermarket quite a novelty because I honestly would say that I go into a supermarket once every two months or three months because we get our fruit and veg um, from farm shops and most of the boring things my goodness and most of the boring things like cleaning products and blue roll I get on a cardo oops a daisy oh so there we go I did buy some pigs in blankets and <laughs> I might just have them for my lunch
it may not be nutritionally complete, but it sure is. <laughs> I feel like I'm being watched. It sure is a delicious, yummy Christmas um, mid-morning snack. So here's my pigs in blankets I'm going to enjoy with my pigs without blankets, little peas, um, in front of the fire. Glorious. Okay, my darlings, back up in the dressing room. Charlie is doing a little bit of shooting. Um, <laughs> how cute are these? pajamas. I just love them so much. Um, I've just posted some Instagram stories about these and got a few little snaps in them. And now we've had a little delivery here from Netta Porter. I got some amazing bits from Netta Porter in the cyber sales. And I think when I shared these on my Instagram stories, it was the most click-throughs that we've ever had on an Instagram story because so many of you wanted to see them. They are the René Calvilla. I hope that's the correct, correct pronunciation shoes. And are they not truly just an absolute work of art? They are gold satin, this beautiful kind of snaky spiral that goes up the foot, sparkly sole, which is just absolutely stunning. I think they're absolutely gorgeous. They are very comfortable, I'm pleased to confirm. And I think that they will definitely be my Christmas day shoes, my New Year's Eve shoes, and basically every special occasion that I go to for the rest of time, quite frankly. I love them. Um, so yes, I will leave this brand on their supporter link down below in case you would like to check out some of their other designs because they are just true works of art like i think someone actually commented this on my reel um they are like jewelry for your feet beautiful so back to the netta porter orders that have just arrived and i think this was one order that's arrived in two boxes because sometimes things come from italy and sometimes they come from the uk so the italy bits take just a tiny bit longer now Oh my goodness me, <laughs> the theme of my New Year's Eve dress code this year is very much sparkles and I think I tried a dress from this brand, um, is it Rotate by Maylene Berger, I think that's correct. I tried on something from this brand last year and I loved it, but I don't think I got the sizing right, I think it was a little bit too big, so this year I've gone a size down and then by the time I tried to reorder it last year it sold out. It, I think it was this but in either silver or a very pale champagne gold, but I am a lover of the greens. Is it a skirt or is it a skirt? I think it's a skirt. The only concern I have is this very low plunging V. Um, it might need a little bit of a pinch, but I'll give that a try in a second. As you can see, it is quite literally a disco ball. Then, in our second box, Ah, here we go. This is my dream winter coat and I know it's my dream winter coat without even having to try it on because I actually had this coat. Um, yes, I actually had this coat on loan from Netta Porter last year and I just fell in love with it. Back then I wasn't quite ready to make the full investment in it, um, but this year, and I'm not going to lie, I was watching back some of my vlogmases from last year. I wore this coat when we did our day at Vista Village last year, I think it was vlogmas day 18, um, and I just thought it looked so elegant and I needed to add it to my permanent collection. And it is the absolute classic Max Mara coat. It is in the very, very timeless camel colour, which literally never goes out of fashion. It is double-breasted, but I personally would actually not wear it with the buttons done up. It comes with the robe belt. Now, I do recall there are no belt buckles in this, so you have to be so aware that you don't just undo your belt and fling it away. I guess it's because a lot of people probably wear it without the belt. I might even stitch the belt to the back of the coat or put my own coat ring in because I wear this like a dressing gown, I wear it like a robe, um, so always with the belt and I just do not want to lose this belt. <laughs> it's so warm, I believe it's a cashmere wool mix, lined, beautiful silk lining, 
the quality, the way that this is made and the materials is just second to none. And I know that you hear people saying this a lot about timeless pieces, but this really is a coat for life, a true investment. Always looks gorgeous, always looks classic. Um, the kind of lapel and silhouette that's never going to go out of fashion. And hopefully you can see in that little bit of sunlight that we've got left, it just has the tiniest sheen to it which I think is so beautiful. Cannot wait to pop that one on, although I do um, already know what it looks like. There's always a little bit of a wild card in my Netta Porter orders. If you've ever, and I remember the first time I shopped from Netta Porter, I was actually a little bit nervous because it's a super luxury retailer. The kind of brands that you get um, are that you can find on their supporter. Yes, there's a huge variety, but they are luxury brands ranging from, as you've seen, Max Mara, Gucci, um, like all the top brands you can get on their supporter. And when I first shot on them, I was like, oh, it's too scary because what if something's not right? I didn't even really think about the fact that um, you can return luxury items, but you can. You can still have the same experience as you would with other retailers. Just order stuff, try it on in the comfort of your own home, try it with the things in your wardrobe and make your decision and it's really easy to do the returns. So if that in the back of your head is maybe stopping you from placing a Netta Porter -Porta order, then don't let it because their customer service is amazing and it's really, really easy to do returns if something's not quite right. And that is why I do sometimes take a little risk with my orders. And this is my slightly risky purchase of the day. It's from Loewe, which is a brand that I adore and I'm very familiar with. But these are a little bit cool. These are a pair of sneakers. And I think I saw these, um, someone was, I think I saw them in the new in section or the coming soon section even. And they just looked so cool on the model. They're this brown, almost boiled wool with a leather, leather detail, leather loeve. I know that these would look <laughs> really cool on a lot of people. Maybe wide leg jeans, oversized cable knit. I'm actually just not sure that I could pull them off. I think that was too much of a wild card. I think, yeah, I'm not, I don't think these are right for me. I was obviously feeling really optimistic as to my street cred when I was ordering these, but no, I actually, I'm not gonna try them on. They're for my alter ego. If I still lived in London and if I lived in like Shoreditch or Hoxton and if I was really cool, then these would be perfect. But alas, that is not me. I'm literally doing an Etta Porter unboxing in festive pajamas. So I think we can tell that's not my vibe. Okay, I don't know if this is suitable to show you. I mean, it's kind of like festive, lingerie, maybe it's a little bit sexy to show the camera, I'm probably not going to show you that actually. Wait, woo, we shall glide over that. <laughs> um, but, <laughs> I mean, <laughs> we can't talk about sexy nightwear when I'm literally wearing this. Far more in my comfort zone, also from Max Mara, I just love a knitted dress. I really do. In a beautiful green colour, I'm hoping that it's going to be figure hugging in all the right places and not figure hugging in the places that we don't want our figures to be hugged, if you know what I mean. But I love a knitted dress, I love the colour of this, I think it's going to be superbly comfortable. I am hoping so. So we'll give that one a little try. And then what is a Netta supporter order at this time of year without fun festive jumpers? I thought these two were really cute. This one is mega soft. This one is soft, but this one is mega soft. It is, it's such a like ski jumper. I really would love to do a little mountain trip, but I just don't know when we would fit it in because we've got so many lovely things in the diary and they're all spaced like two days apart, three days apart. And before you know it, you don't have any gaps in your diary in December. So I don't know that if we will be able to sneak to the snow, but a girl can dream and wear seasonal jumpers. This one says Jet Set Saint Moritz and this one says Moncler. So really gorgeous, cozy, alpine chic jumpers. Let's get trying. Okay my darlings, here is the first sparkly dress. It is a dress, not a jumpsuit. And I just have to once again give a shout out to these shoes. They really are stunning. They do truly look like jewellery on the feet. I can't quite believe it. And then when you catch a glimpse of the sole with the sparkle, it's just truly beautiful. Um, I'm actually not 
horrified at the lowness of the V here. So you have got this little pinching detail. The bra that I happen to be wearing um, earlier is actually pretty much the same colour as the dress, which probably helps. Yes, it would be delightful if I actually had some boobs to fill this out, but even if you are flat chested, like me, it still looks rather fabulous. I love the weight to the sleeves. It does feel like very top heavy. <laughs> I don't normally whip out the legs but for partying at this festive magical time of year i think it's rather fun to do so so let me know what you think this as a potential for a new year's eve dress my little hair bow is clementine and mint and it's pretty much a blooming perfect match it's so gorgeous and it's a clip so it's just so easy to um slip on over the top of a half up half down situation which is gorgeous okay what next another dress another hair bow this one is a kind of mossy color which i think is gorgeous and i think will really suit this dress tis the season for a hair bow and the dress i am loving this is so comfortable it's i know that comfort is not like the number one well for me it is for me something being comfortable means that i'll actually wear it because if there's something in my wardrobe that makes me look sensational but it's not comfortable i just won't reach for it so actually i take that back comfort for me is the number one thing and i'm pleased to report this is very comfortable color wise absolutely gorgeous i would say it is a little tighter on the tummy than i'd hoped but i guess that's just the style of the dress um and if you are planning on eating a full turkey dinner and you bloat or if you bloat simply at the sight of oat milk like i do but you don't care um <laughs> then you know you can always pop on skims if it bothers you it doesn't bother me that much it's got a really cute little almost like a schoolgirl skirt kind of flip out which is really sweet you could pop on little sandals to dress this up little heels or you could wear brown tights and boots i've got my gorgeous black valentino boots that i got last year that i actually haven't worn yet this year but i think these would look gorgeous with this dress maybe for a day in london yeah that would be stunning you could even wear this dress with novelty tights i see people on instagram showing novelty tights a lot more at this time of year like sparkly ones or ones with little dots or bows on them um so yes this is gorgeous a little a little bit tummy-ish but the colour and the comfort and the overall silhouette I think make this a winner but let me know what you think. Here we go, the ultimate in cosy outfits. I have popped on the Moncler jumper with my favourite pair of leggings, the ones that I literally live in all the time, all year round. In summer I'm gardening in them, in winter I am sitting by the fire in them. And the jumper is just as glorious as I hoped it would be. I have got the collar fully, fully collaring. Um, I've got it up to the max. You could most, oh, sorry, that was a bit of a, oh, a bit of a thrust to the camera. Um, you could most certainly roll it down if you want to. I quite like a big chunky collar. This is just gorgeous. It's, it's really um, the kind of outfit that you want to wear when you are enjoying a cheese fondue. Yes, that is the vibe. Very, very much so. Really, really like this. I like the little zigzags. Kind of, it's um, reminiscent of mountains. And I like the colours. Dusky pink, green, white. I always think that having cream or white by your face can be very flattering. They say the same about pearl earrings, that it reflects the light and gives you a more glowing complexion. I don't know if that's true or not, but I certainly feel that it is. So this one gets a big from me let's try the other one i just thought that you might like to see how my hair looks upon putting on this jumper <laughs> this is the reality of um <laughs> sorry i'm thrusting at you again this is the reality of uh when you put on a chunky knit jumper but the jumper itself is worth it that is for sure we've got another majorly coloring collar it must be the trend because these collars are dry 
enormous. If anyone has any hacks so that you don't completely cover your collar in your makeup, um, please share that with me. Wow, this looks totally ridiculous. I will sort my hair out shortly, but the jumper is absolutely gorgeous. It's so cozy. It makes me desperately want to book a ski holiday or just a fondue <laughs> in a chalet somewhere. There are some really good uh, blog posts out there online of gorgeous, cozy, alpine, festive places in London. If you guys have visited any, please let me know your favourites down below because I'd love to sneak in for one if I can, if I've got time. I love this jet set, San Moritz, and it feels so warm. It feels like the coziest layering piece. You could definitely ski in this just with a, a little Marks and Spencer thermal on underneath or a Skims little bodysuit but super cosy. Just what I wanted. Okay, my darlings, I saved the best till last. This is the Max Mara coat, and isn't she just sensational if I kick my poof out the way? There are so many camel-coloured coats out there, but none that I've ever tried on have quite had just the gorgeousness of this one. It feels so warm, it is so warm, you don't even really need to think about the rest of your outfit because if you're wearing this, you will be toasty. I, as I said, I wear it like a robe, I wear it like a dressing gown. If I was wearing something fabulous underneath, then you can wear it quite open, like so. You've got pockets just in the right place, at the right angle. The material really is stunning, the fact that it's got that bit of sheen to it. I know that this is going to be one of those coats that I'm like, why did I not invest in it years ago? And I should have done. I should have taken the hint last year when I wore it so much during that time that I had it on loan from Netta Porter. But yeah, this year, biting the bullet, I might retire my Reese Lawson coat as a result of this because it's very similar. And that was previously my most worn coat, but really, really similar. I, um, if it's really, really cold, remember no coat hook no belt loop. If it's really cold then you can just, you know, crisscross it over, pop your belt back on and really get completely snuggled up. You could even, you know, pop the collar. I think I did this last year at Vista, didn't I? It was so cold that I just wanted to like pop the collar and really get all snuggled up inside. But yeah, I love it. I knew I would. It's a real, it's an investment, it's a treat. If um, there's any husbands in earshot and you're looking for like a, a showstopper gift, this would be a very generous one, but it would be an amazing one. Or just something to treat yourself to if you're looking for quality over quantity in your wardrobe, then do you know, it does look quite cool without the belt as well. I can see why some people wouldn't, wouldn't want the belt loops, but for me, I don't know. I just need to think of a way of not dropping the belt. So if you've got any ideas, please let me know. I also feel like it works for smart outfits, casual outfits. It's so versatile. And the way that I do my belt loop, so I let the coat hang, I make sure the belt is not um, twisted at the back, just give it a little bit of a shimmy. And then I pinch it in so that you've got a nice waist, fold it over. This is literally how I do my dressing gowns in the morning as well. Under and over. Apologies if this is teaching teaching you to suck eggs, which is such a horrible expression, um, but this is how I do it. So you've got one fold there, and then right hand, left hand. <laughs> it's hard when you're trying to explain it, because normally I just do it so naturally. Um, left over right. You could do it the other way around, I guess. And then I'm gonna pull it through, similar to last time, but I'm not going to pull it all the way. Oh, it fell all the way. We'll do it without thinking. There we go. Do you see? That was the same movement, um, but it's just a little knot. Just a nice little knot, and that will keep me snuggled in here all day long. And I love it. I feel like I could probably slow that clip down. Slow motion, not dying. Uh, <laughs> sorry, I'm in a weird mood. Um, but yes, I love it. I love it. I will just very quickly, and you can just do that, like one pull, and it's off. I will very quickly show you the Lauren Manoogian cardigans that I ordered pre-Black Friday, pre-Cyber Sale, because I never actually showed you them on and they're really lovely. 
This is just the most gorgeous thing to throw on if you're flying, um, if you just need an extra layer, if you are going, okay this sounds, really, <laughs> this sounds really bad, but if you're going to stay at someone's house and you're not sure on the temperature of their house, this is just a really nice thing to pack with you for an overnight stay, just so that you've always got a nice cosy layer. Um, it's again, it's a little bit like a dressing gown, a little bit like a robe, but incredibly comfortable. Have a little look at all the Lauren Manoogian on net porter I wouldn't have discovered the brand if it wasn't for net porter Really nice layering piece. I also have this from two years ago in cream, and I absolutely love it, but I thought that a grey would be a nice addition. And again, it just hangs really nicely. It's, um, it's a nice length, covers, covers the legs. If it's not a particularly cold day, like as we move to spring or as you enter winter, it's could act as a coat again, but yeah, love it. And then this one really is the definition of a coat again because it's the structure of a coat in that it's got the lapels. Um, <laughs> it's giving Dumbledore. <laughs> it's kind of, it's got a little bit of Dumbledore about it. The fact that it's quite oversized, gaping sleeves. Do you know what I mean? And something about the material is quite smart, it's quite work wary. Maybe it's the, sh the smartness of the collar, but it is, at the end of the day, just a knitted cardigan, so incredibly comfortable. I can imagine, <laughs> I can imagine, again, those like East London cool girls or the girls that like work in fashion PR wearing this kind of outfit because it's so cool. But for me, it's also comfort. Back to the old comfort priority. You've got the pockets, oversized, slouchy, just really easy to throw on. So I think my winter outerwear is officially sorted. The sun is coming out for the afternoon, better late than never, at <laughs> three o'clock. I wanted to show you inside this lovely hamper. This was a very kind gift from our fabulous videographer, Jake, and his wife, Millie, who were part of the and. Fashion Mumbler, and their fabulously, gorgeously, snuggable little baby new son, Finley. And. And their sausage dog, Charlie. <laughs> the full shebang. Um, from the Fashion Mumbler Christmas dinner that was last night. Should we have a little rummage, darling? It looks awesome, doesn't it? I mean, first of all, look at that. Socks with defenders on. That is awesome. That is literally our defender. Yeah. That's so cool. That's awesome. That is really, really cool. Are they for you or for me? Definitely for me. Do you know what's on my socks today? I bought you those last year. You did, and I love them. Yeah, Thank I you, darling. Ooh, oh, we have got for me? some local honey. Did you call for me? That'll be good for your tickly throat. We've got a sausage snout, never one to be left out. We've got, ooh, damson jam. Lala loves damson jam. I don't know if I've ever even tried it. Have you? Um, I think I have, but I can't remember if I have. You know what I mean? I think damson's <laughs> quite nice with cheese, isn't it? Oh my they gosh, awesome. dipped cranberry, yeah, handmade, oh, yummy, oh look, oh my gosh, how festive, oh, spiced no. cranberry ketchup, that is amazing, there's so much in here, what is that? Brandy butter, <gasps> homemade, that's amazing, handmade even, that is amazing because do you know what, I cannot eat mint, well I can, but I prefer mince pies with brandy this butter, this is awesome, look, um, this is good for you isn't it, and mince pies, <coughs> but look at this, Oh yes. Oh, I'll have some of that now actually. Yummy. And some mince pies. <coughs> and some mince pies, which we need to add to the competition. Q, Q Gardens, but like Q. From, but it's local. It's um, yeah, well, a farm you... shop in Abingdon. Yeah, look, in Oxfordshire. This is so sweet. I wonder oh, if this was like a full hamper, if they chose no, they individual bits. Do you know what? So I think thoughtful. Actually, if you're struggling to buy something for someone at Christmas, this is a just, food hamper. Yeah, I just think it's the nicest idea. Just try and put together mm -hmm. some of your favourite things. I mean, it's just so nice to try other, like other people's local produce. Yeah, you know what I mean? put together a, a hamper from your farm shop. Yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah. Love it. Support local businesses, Dexy. What do you think? I support everybody because I'm really, really long, and it's it's part of my my priorities. You my know? mantra. My mantra. My sausage drop. Oh, he's so handsome. Mm. He's the best one. The I'm best the best one, one, and I know it. So I ordered this new dog bed. It's called a Charlie Chew um, pillow, I guess, 
very much inspired by the ones that Leonora has got by the Aga that her sausages absolutely love. The boys are intrigued by it, as you can see, but they haven't quite figured out that they can actually snuggle up inside it yet. So I'm not sure if I need to show them or if Dexie's gonna actually figure it out. What do we think? Dickens definitely wouldn't figure it out. So maybe I'll have to give him a little tutorial. What do we think? But it's very soft. It's got this lovely kind of furry inside and then this green velvet on top. This is the brand. Dickens is having an investigation. Shall mummy show you how to do it, boys? Right. The aim of the game is that you actually snuggle up inside here. Is there enough room for sausages? Should I put you in it? You're meant to go inside. can't tell if he likes it or if he's very confused. Well, we meet again on the advent calendar landing. Charlie is just heading over to join us in a second. We've actually decided that we are going to postpone tonight's dinner out in Burford. We are both feeling completely pooped after a late night last night with a fashion member Christmas party. And we want to be able to enjoy it fully, don't we, darling? Yeah, I'm not going to have a cold again. <laughs> You do. Charlie got over his first cold and then got too well, cold flu, definitely. and has another cold. Yeah. So um, you'll be more present during the latter half of Vlogmas, won't you, darling? Yeah, yeah, you will. You will. You'll be feeling better soon. Um, so instead, we're going to watch, um, there's a new film on Sky Cinema called Genie, and it looks really good. So we're going to watch that and stick a lasagna or something in the well, eye. Who's in, who's in it? Isn't it I actually famous? can't remember, but I remember when I watched a trailer, I was like, yeah, I really want to yeah, watch that. Yeah, I remember that. thinking it was going to be good. Yeah, there's so many Christmas films out this year. We need to, we need to play catch up. But for now, we need to play catch up with the advent calendar. So, day six. Um... <laughs> Any clues, darling, where the actual, <laughs> where the actual number is? Ah! Behind Little Nutcracker, we have got today's clue. How would you get to Diagon Alley? In a fireplace? What would you use? I would... Flu powder? Yeah. Lem sip? No, that would have been quite <laughs> so You were on the right path originally. Okay, if I was going to go to Diagon Alley, I would choose the fireplace in our entrance hall. Would you? Yeah. Would you choose the drawing room? No. <clears throat> would you not? I wouldn't. Our bedroom? Be... Well, no, because that's got a stove in it, hasn't it? Oh, yeah, so it needs to be the entrance hall one. Right, let's go and have a look. <laughs> it's not in there. Okay. Have a think. Where's our biggest fireplace in the house? This oh, is going to be very sport. Dining room. Yeah. <laughs> okay, yes. It's not the most scenic one, but it is the biggest one. Right. Dining room. Yeah, 
Okay, this is our biggest fireplace in the house. And you can we stand have got... in this one, whereas you can't stand in the other ones. <gasps> Three trolley burgers. <laughs> oh my gosh, and the little ones. I said, Charlie, the little ones are actually my favorite. I did say that this Ooh. is the last year we're doing processes. And what do we have here? Make your own Christmas tree decorations with Lala. What a gorgeous idea. Oh, uh, do you remember you saw that and I thought, that is going to be so fun. So tomorrow, 10.30 till 1, make your own set of 10 Christmas tree decorations using clay materials and tools. Tomorrow! Yeah. That's such a fab idea, darling. Excuse all of our washing behind you. This is behind the scenes. Real yeah, life vlogmas. Real life. That's such um, a gorgeous idea. And yeah. we're going to try and do the dinner that we're meant to do tonight on Sunday. If we are going to try. Yeah, yeah, see if they can we'll squeeze us in. Yeah. Gorgeous. What a treat. So... You'll be you able saying, to see this in tomorrow's Vlogmas. You were saying you wanted more Christmas decorations. I wonder how yeah. much... I wonder how... Dexter... Dexy. I wonder how creative you can get with... With I them. I wonder if be I'll be able to make a sausage dog. Or a Defender. What do you think, Dex? Or do, yeah, Defender would be good. Mm -hmm. I just think you should try and do countryside things. Okay, I'll try and it's do a greenhouse. A greenhouse, a watering can. Yeah. Well, you're being very optimistic with my creative talents, darling. I, know, I think you'd be quite good. But yeah, there you go. Yay, gorgeous. I can't wait to snuffle my mini Charlie burger. If anyone else is obsessed with these, let me know down below. We, Charlie and I absolutely love them. They are so, um, I mean, awful, <laughs> but so delicious. And I cannot wait to snuffle them. Well, my darlings, it is actually half past eight and I have already spent the last probably hour I would say asleep on the sofa downstairs it's safe to say that these 1am uh, bedtimes and 6am starts are starting to catch up with me so I'm going to have a very very early night I've got a brand new Soho home dressing gown on this evening which is so snugly soft it finally arrived from my Black Friday order but don't worry I'm not going to be ending the vlog on this unglamorous <laughs> note I've got my brace in and I've got my night creams all sinking in because I actually have realized that there is a day of footage that I filmed in London at the end of November that I've not not yet shared with you so we're going to whiz back in time I'm going to share that with you and then I'll see you again bright and early tomorrow for vlogmas day seven good night My darling, starting off in one of my favourite places in the Cotswolds. We're here at Cornbury Park this morning. There is a lovely Christmas fair of local brands here today. It's been the most beautiful drive. It's cold, you can probably see my warm breath. Um, but yes, in Fee's gorgeous home, there are so many lovely brands. Um, I've brought Lala along and we're just going to have a little mooch around. We haven't got long, unfortunately, because in 40 minutes I've got to catch a train to London. So without further ado, let's go and check it out. So straight inside, and there's a lovely brand here called Relux. And they have got some beautiful, beautiful pieces. Look at this, Chanel handbags, got Gucci, we've got some Van Cleef over here. Oh my gosh, gorgeous Christmas gift ideas.
Okay, my darlings, made it to lovely London and it is such a gorgeous day today. Luckily, just as beautiful here as it was in the Cotswolds. That worked out really well because um, Charlbury Station is just a few minutes away from Cornbury, so I was able to sneak that in as well as a PT session this morning. It's fair to say I feel like my battery is flashing red because I've, I've actually not eaten anything today and I've done PT, which is not wise. Not wise, would not recommend. Um, but I thought I'd fill you in on what's going on today. I've got on my lovely new Max Mara coats, which I'm just loving. Um, so, plan of action. I'm currently wearing my Sefin jumper dress, but in my bag I have got a sparkly number to switch into when I get to my destination, which is the Mandarin Oriental Hotel, because today I have a sparkling luncheon, so it says on the invitation with boodles and the wedding edition. I think we're going to be learning a lot about um, what boodles do in the sustainability realm, so I'll be really interested to hear all about that. I'm learning more and more and getting more and more intrigued as to the provenance of oh my gosh I thought I'd lost an earring <laughs> of sparkly pieces so yeah I don't I don't know much about Boodles as a brand other than that they've got some gorgeous bits so looking forward to today's lunch I think it's gonna be a stunning one then I'm heading to the Aveda Institute which is in Covent Garden and I'm getting my hair done so I've actually got dirty hair right now so I might just pull it into a little bun for the lunch I think the sparkly dress will do the talking so lovely appointment at Aveda and then I'm heading down to Wimbledon for a dinner with the lovely founder of the beautiful skincare brand Olivana so a really nice day of events a lunch a hair treat and then dinner and then back home. It's gonna be a long day, but it feels later than half 11. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's gonna be a really wonderful one. So as soon as we get to the Mandarin Oriental, I'm gonna find a loo, <laughs> get changed into my sparkly dress. Might put this cozy jumper dress on again for my hair appointment, haven't quite decided, but we're almost there, so. very kindly letting me get changed in the gym <laughs> the gym changing rooms this is what I've been wearing it this morning Jennifer Bear headband might keep this in might tie it up not too sure yet my lovely Sethin jumper dress which I love and it's so warm because it's merino wool so lovely and now for a quick change <laughs> And into my sparkly number, I decided to do hair up because it is not the cleanest, but here we go, Sefin dress number two. I absolutely love it, you might recognise it from the Vlogmas intro. Um, I've just got my usual jewellery on, nothing too crazy with the makeup, I've popped on my favourite Beauty Pie lip gloss. So let's head upstairs, I think the room is going to look absolutely sensational. draped on the shoulders. Absolutely stunning, my darling. And I have um, borrowed for the day some B Boodles earrings and this gorgeous bracelet is their secret garden collection. And I'm in love. I just want to show the vlog these girls' stunning outfits. Look at this. I need all the details. So my darling, you're wearing Vampire's Wife? This is Vampire's Wife. Oh! That is amazing. Re recently? Recently, like two weeks ago. And I have to say, it's probably my favourite. And look at the look. I the want. Look at the I want. Oh, it's is epic. just she is stunning. Amazing. I want to pop you both on top of my tree. And Chessie, where is this from? This is Anne Louise Boutique. 
No way! Yeah. Booty! Back. Back. Oh. Like, wait a minute, I need that on here. This is an and we just snuck downstairs to use the loo before luncheon begins. Look how great our colours are together. We are a yin and yang. We are. I love it. We are properly um, regal colours. But I thought I'd just show you a little full length outfit of the day. I love the. Um, it's got a bit of an asymmetric hem, hasn't it? It's beautiful. You've got a real swish as well. You can have swish. a little, a little. Swish and a swoosh. And I'm going to come in closer and show you the state of my vlogging camera, which is ideal before Vlogmas begins. Can you see that? This is this hanging. Is, it's giving me anxiety. I can't. I know. I know. I it, we don't have a spare hairband to tie it up. We need well. super glue. I give you my bracelet. We can. We can. With the Cartier <laughs> held, together held together with diamonds. diamonds. Yeah, I love it. Oh my gosh. <gasps> Let's head out for some scrumptious lunch. Yum. And I'm very happy to be here today with Boodles, first female member of the family to business. Why don't you tell us a little bit about how that came about, how you came to join and what you're doing at Boodles? Yeah, firstly, welcome everyone. Thank you all so much for coming. Thank you so much. Actually, this was created obviously with the thing uh, in hands, and obviously this we serve as well in the Mandarin cake shop. So it's a basic, basically it's a sphere, which is a mascarpone mousse, strawberry, and almond sponge inside, and then you have a bit of uh, pistachio and dry um, strawberries. As well. Well, that was a glorious lunch event. I learned so much about what Boodles do for um, being a lot more sustainable when it comes to their gold mining, their diamond mining, and how much incredible work they do with the local communities. It was so lovely to discover and got to wear some of their gorgeous pieces for the lunch as well. I'm now at the Aveda Institute, which is the big Aveda in between Covent Garden and uh, High Hoban, and we are gonna sort out my roots, which at the moment, they don't look too bad actually, because um, I've got a lot of dry shampoo in, but you can see there's quite a lot of, quite a lot of darkness going on in here, which we're going to fix. Susan is gonna give me a nice, creamy blonde boost and I'm not gonna lie I'm looking forward to just sitting down for a couple of hours the treatments here are always so relaxing it's like a spa treatment in a hairdresser's hairdressing appointment so I shall see you in a couple of hours with a fresh head of blonde hair okay a couple of hours later I've got all my foils in Susan has done that actually very very quickly and um, I'm one of the last ones standing although I think they've got another batch of um a batch another uh, lot of ladies coming in soon but it's a lovely little festive day here at Aveda we've got mince pies we've got a fire in inverted commas roaring away in the background we've got some bubbles gosh it feels so late because it got dark an hour or so ago but also interestingly Susan who just did my hair she was saying how for me to um, keep my blonde looking its best I really need to use more clarifying products she said um, rosemary and mint, I think it's downstairs. So many incredible products, I've always loved the Aveda range. And then Botanical Repair as my everyday bond building styling cream. I do use the Botanical Repair conditioner, it's so lovely. And this is one of the only products that actually keeps curls in my hair when I use my air wrap. What else have they got here? Volumizing tonic sculpt, yeah, that's probably what she meant, the sculpt solution. And she said I should probably come in for a scalp clarifying treatment if I feel like my colour needs a little bit of a lift before Christmas. So there we go, we've had all of the tips. The overhead lighting is making me look a little it's bit uh, Lucius Malfoy, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. I've always loved Lucius Malfoy's hair. Yeah. That is, oh and the length is gorgeous. Yeah, it's nice. Thank you so So you've got so all much. that gorgeous length with just a little sharpener. Oh. Same with the layers, it didn't need a huge amount, no. so that'll keep you going, won't it? Yay, thank you so much. Absolute pleasure. Beautiful. Oh my god, that colour! Yes! Oh, I'm so happy. Colour and cut and yeah, blow dry to perfection. Thank you good. so much. All right, no problem at all. I very, very happy. About it. And so there we go, hair is done and I am so blonde. I could not be happier. Michael has just given me a fantastic 
cut an inch off and a lovely flick at the bottom. Next stop is down to Richmond and we're heading for dinner with Olivana. What an incredible day. Yay! Look at this stunning setting. Oh my gosh. Wow. Thank you so much for coming here. Uh, we know that's super, super busy. And I really wanted to find a safe, efficacious skincare line for them that was British, that was luxury, that I would also use. And I realized that there wasn't a brand that spans generations. So that's what, uh, that was the reason Olivan was born. It actually is Hannah and Olivia's name combined. Oh, so it's no. really, they are the, the reason that Hannah oh. stood here today. Um, and what we've done is we've put British botanicals and we've harnessed those with science-led ingredients. And we've really sort of curated an incredible high-performance capsule collection of skincare. I'm a great believer in not having multiple sort of droppers and, and keeping the sustainability and formulating so you can have, you know, two or three elements in one. No pressure, yeah. exactly. Um, and like I said to, to her, do it one side at a time, don't go too crazy, otherwise you're not ready. Are you ready? 10 seconds. 10 seconds, guys. We're going to count down from 10. Are you ready? 3, 2, 1, go. 10, 9, come on. 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Zero. Stop. <laughs> one and a half. <laughs> <laughs> right, doesn't it great, does it? No. Right, keep it there. Oh, what's it, what's you got one. You got a little oh, line of white and stuff. Um, it doesn't look great, does it? <laughs> However, I I said that you'd solve a Rubik's cube. I did not say how you would solve a Rubik's cube. We all know a Rubik's cube to be solved one colour one side, another colour another side. However, you have solved this in quite possibly the geekiest way. Hold on to that for a second. Inside here, I actually have another Rubik's Cube. No. No. I don't know whether you can see this. Where is it? Yeah, but you can match it perfectly. No. On one it's a great side. Area. <laughs> what? And oh my gosh. But you didn't stop there, you matched it on two no. sides. You matched it on three sides, you matched it on four sides, oh, here we go, you match it on four sides, you match it on five sides, you match it on every single side. Come on, give it up! Do you want this? Is, yeah, let's scroll up. We're spotting. Right. Everybody, okay, this is Elite Magician Chris, <laughs> which is Hello. what it says on your business card, which I mean, absolutely love. that means it's a fact, right? And Chris has just been literally blowing our minds with magic tricks in the dining room, so I've asked him to come and do one just for Vlogmas. So let's do it. All right, it's exciting. Okay, uh, so I've got a pack of cards here. I need to kneel down. Uh, as well. Oh yeah, <laughs> down. I'm kneeling down. Just We're now. I'm not tiny. To <laughs> <laughs> uh, so uh, go ahead. I'm, in fact, I'll tell you what. I'm going to give these a quick little mix up. Okay. For no other reason, just show off a bit, you know. It's a fancy way of mixing them. I, like I don't it. get out much. Mm -hmm. So yeah, nice. go ahead, reach in, take one. Anyone? Anyone you want. To the right one. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Have you got it, yeah? Yeah, but the Lovely. weird thing is, I was thinking of this one earlier. That, no, I See, really was. That's, we didn't arrange that. No, either. we didn't. That, no. And I said it to Kavita that you tested earlier as well. Really? Oh, that's mm -hmm. interesting. Okay, uh, so I'll tell you what, uh, just shout stop anytime you want, doesn't matter where. <laughs> stop! There, okay, lovely. Place your car back for me. I won't look, I won't look. Uh, was it kind of a good card, yeah? So it was the card that you actually really were thinking of yeah. earlier on. Uh, so look. Hi, yeah. Uh, Hello. I'm just stalking. <laughs> having, a, yeah, having a little stalk, <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm just going to put a cushion under my knee because I'm about yeah. to. Yeah, it's about to fall off. It's it about, is about to, uh, to fall off. Fall off. <laughs> Uh, so look, we have the uh, the Queen of Diamonds. That's not your card, is it? No, uh, hold your hand out flat for me. I'm going to steal the Queen of Diamonds. Should I just show them what it was? Oh yeah, yeah, sure. Don't listen. Oh yeah, go Don't listen. It. I'm going to show you. Uh... 
Okay, I'll show you. That's, that's my fault. I should have I told you to, to show the camera. <laughs> I wouldn't have been very effective. <laughs> so, look, we've got the, uh, the Queen of Diamonds. Hold your hand out flat for me. I'm going to give you the Queen of Diamonds. I'm going to steal the Queen of Diamonds out of your hand without you realising it. All right, so, we've got the, the Two of Diamonds here. Uh, if I take the Two, just flick it over that Queen. And it's become the Queen of Diamonds. Which begs the question if the Queen is here, what's there? Oh my gosh, but that was the two! It's my job. Magic. Yeah. That is absolute magic. Oh, thank Bravo! You. You're so good. You've had us all literally mind mind burn. Thank you. Elite thank magician you. Chris, everybody, I will leave your details down below. Oh, thank you so much. I love that. That's amazing.